Good morning sports fans, thanks for joining me. So today I'm camping right next to a railway line which has got some lovely seasoned oak in there, some silver birch and there's a river the other side, I don't think you're going to be able to see it today. But I came down here yesterday just for a little recce and I found a couple of people's spots just dotted all over the wood, I probably walked 5 or 6k through the woods found a few spots and then I stumbled onto this one which you'll see soon and whoever found it I think knew what they were looking for you'll see why later on purely because of all the nice wood they've left some logs there as well I don't think I'm going to touch them but I think I'm going to leave them a message in a bottle as well I've got a glass beer bottle with me so I'm going to leave them a note when I leave so uh, yeah stick with it cheers for watching let's have a good camp so I'm going to be camping in a hammock today. I really like hammock camping in the summer especially because it gets you up off the floor away from the ticks and all the bugs. I've got a new tarp and hammock to try today by a company called Solignac. I think it's a French company. They're like a side brand to Decathlon. It's got a nice like woodland camo-y sort of pattern on there. So we'll see how we get on with them. Something new for you to see as well which is pretty cool. So I think I'm going to go get set up. Roll the time lapse. Okay, here's the setup then. It's got a really nice pattern on this tarp. Hopefully you can see it there. So I've just double bungeed on this side, linking them in the in the middle. Just out to that tree. This one down to there. And then round the back. That's really stealth. All you stealth campers out there, this is perfect for you. So there's no trees for me to hook onto this side. So I've just gone down to two big logs there. On this side, I've just put a peg, a wedge, and then a Y stick just to hold it all together. I tend not to use a ridge line. You've probably noticed that by now. I just put one bungee in the middle on each corner that is still nice and taut. I just, I'm a bungee man. hammocks in but it's the tarps black underneath and the hammocks the same color as the tarp went up nicely I really like the uh, I really like these knots makes it nice and easy nice and grippy this side's a little lower just in case it rains just for runoff and the back steep anyway so it doesn't matter there's one more thing to go down and that's the CS95 basher as my ground sheet which I'm going to do now. So why do I think this is a good spot then? There's a big oak tree over there with loads of seasoned limbs at the bottom ready to burn. There's a couple of silver birch. There's a huge poplar over there with loads of dead poplar. Here comes a train. That doesn't bother me, it actually quite excites me. <laughs> 
There's some polypores, there's some jellies ears up there, there's loads of fern. Over the back there, it's a bit of a marshland and then there's a river. I'm fully prepared for the midges today. That's where I'm wearing my beanie, that's why I've got a jumper on. I've got a shemag as well. Shout out to the Warburtons man, you know who you are. He left a parcel at my back door with some home brews, which I've got today. A beanie and some other bits. So shout out to you, bro. But yeah, I really like this spot. I just stumbled across it by chance. But look at the depth on this poplar bark. It's a big boy. Plenty of Haribo hiding spots. It's gonna be a good day. Right, I've brought Mr. Quick Quiver. Wouldn't be a camp without him these days. So he's gonna stag on from here. Cheers, buddy. Right, it's beer time then. Brewdog Jackhammer, Roofless IPA, 7.2. We've got a Salt Citra Niper, Juicy and Hazy, 4.3. A Brewdog Elvish Juice, Grapefruit, 5.1. Beavertown Gamma Ray, American Pale, 5.4. Tiny Rebel Cali Pale, 5%. An Arbor. My little Sabroni single hop American pale, which is 5%. And then these two Molotov cocktails, which percentage is unknown, taste is unknown, type is unknown, destination unknown. Cheers and everyone. Oh. You can see people on the other side of the train tracks. Right, so I've got my saw ready, got the knife ready. I'm gonna go look for some bits of wood. I'm gonna make an adjustable pot hanger. So a branch that comes down like that with another piece that hooks on and you can adjust the height for the billy can just for tea tonight. So let's go and find some wood. This is the beautiful oak I was telling you about earlier. Gonna have a good fire today. Plenty of seasoned hardwood on the floor. Ready for processing. If I need some more, there's a few dead limbs there as well, which look nice to burn. But let's carry on trying to find something a little more suitable for our pot hanger. Perfect. While we're here then, we'll take some for the bag. Have a few more bits. Oh, I think this will do. Such a nice little woodland, isn't it? I like the natural ones. Okay, I don't have a stump, but I've got this here, which will do. So, we've got our long arm piece. We've got a knuckle to keep it down at the back. And then we've got our actual pot hanger, which I just need to clean up a bit.
Sweet. That's that bit. There you go then, an adjustable pot hanger. I've got two settings on it, a high heat and a low heat. That's all I need. I'm just gonna slow cook a stew with some chicken and veg. Favourite camping meal of mine. It's just easy, one pot cooks, or just the one. So there you go. So as mentioned last week, I've been using the Puko style by Marmaduke Creations, the prototype. Mark said to me he wants to know what I'd change about it or what he could improve on it I mean I'm no knife professional and I'm struggling to find something I don't like about it I'm gonna be honest with you Mark it does everything that I want it to do and it feels comfortable in the hand it's razor sharp it's a lovely shape you nailed the shape so I'm struggling to find something I don't like to be honest I'm gonna keep using it see if I can find something but it's a beast mate it's an absolute beast up this tree having my second beer. There she is look. all you train spotters out there lovely bit of oak that
Midgies be gone. I know it goes without saying, but fire lighting's easy as long as you do the prep. Right, I'm like a kid at Christmas. I was just gonna go put the bag of Haribo up the uh, oak tree there. Some of you might be able to guess what's coming. If you know, then you know. I found some chicken of the woods. Go on, boys. Chicken of the woods, I'm gonna harvest it. I didn't bring my frying pan, I might just chuck it in with my stew, I don't know. Either way, I'm taking it home, I'm gonna fry it up. And also, I've just clocked this. You what, mate? You what? What are you doing here, love? Hey? Eh? <laughs> Honestly, kid at Christmas, it just had to be, didn't it? It had to be. And we've got our young lady friend down here too. Go on, girl. Chicken of the Woods! So if you don't know about Chicken of the Woods, you just harvest it, fry it both sides until golden. One in 20 people have a reaction, so they say just have a little bit, your first go. Wait 24 hours. If your lips haven't swollen up by then, good to go, mate. So. They say it's the best vegan alternative to chicken. It actually tastes a bit like chicken. It grows on oak, beech, willow, yew, sweet chestnut, I think. I've only ever seen it on oak and beech. So that's what I look out for. You can't eat it from yew because it becomes toxic. It transfers from the tree into the fungus. So don't eat it from a yew. If you don't know what a yew is, go and Google it. Seriously though, should I be a little bit scared for tonight now? Is this some like devil worshipping stuff? She looks a bit freaky. There's a horseshoe round it. On one of the nicest pieces of oak I've ever seen. Granted half of it's dead, but... Is that some sadist stuff, is it? Put it in the comments if you know about this stuff. I'm about to disturb it anyway. Because... I'm thinking, you know... Mr. Sherwood might like a lady friend. Sherwood! Say hello to your new Mrs. Pal. Say hello, right, I'll leave you two to uh, talk and get to know each other. There's a bee's nest up there as well. Where is my finger? In there. Got some oak on there now. Come on. If you were just thinking, mate, why don't you just cut it and take it back to camp? That's what I'm going to do, mate. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. I'll just keep coming back here. Camp's only just behind you, so it's all good. Right, it's panic over. I'm just going to read you a couple of comments from Instagram about the lady that we found. So, Mark's Adventures 1. Thanks for the comment, mate. It's all good. She's no devil worshipper. She's a pagan deity. Respect is due. It is common for people to get mixed up due to the lying clergy men over millennia. Pagans don't believe in a devil. Our evil is our own. Blessed be. And then he said, It works similarly to the karma principle, for this is the law, do as you want and harm none. For whomever casts evil upon another, they also will receive evil in turn. By many times as payment for their deeds, three times three and more will evil return unto thee for breaking the law. So there we go, every day's a school day. Thanks for the comments.
Cheers, Mr. Warburton's man. <coughs> Works a treat. And just to prove it, not that I need to, she works on the high setting too. Right, while we're waiting for dinner to cook, I reckon we go on a little mission and try and get down to the river. I've not tried to get down there yet. Let's hack a path. There she is. Oh, nearly fell in. Mission success. Completed it, mate. Right, let's see what these are up to. Oi! Excuse me. It's not even dark yet. Come on. Go on, lad. Bushcraft AF. I reckon we can get a little bit more bushcrafty, though. No word of a lie, one of the best beers I've ever tasted. Sainsbury's mate, get yourself down there. There you go. Beer cooked chicken stew, or whatever you want to call it. I need a better utensil though. Can I be bothered to make one? Probably not. So it's chicken, leek, potato, red onion, carrot, coriander, garlic, train, um, beer. Oh, so good. So good. Right, it's just gone half nine. I've saved my tin of Brewdog Elvis juice to last, which I'm gonna have now. Watch that fire, probably load a load of more wood on before I go to bed. And then just get in the hammock, hit the hay, and have a good night's kip. So I'll catch you in the morning. Morning world. So plan for today. Gonna get some motivation to pack up. Gonna harvest the chicken of the woods, but I gotta dodge the bees. Literally the whole tree is a bee's nest. They're coming out of every crack possible. Here come the jets. 
So I need to get myself together. Let's do it. Right, I'm going to have to be quick here. So we're leaving her here in the guardian of the woods with a few veggie offcuts for all the little animals. Cheers for having us mate, hope you had a good night with Sherwood. See you soon. There we go, all packed up. That's where the fire was. Got it all out, covered up, leaving no trace. And that's all she wrote. I've had an awesome time, it's been a hell of a good camp. I'll be back next week at some point, I'm not sure what day, but I will be going out. Really appreciate you watching the video, as always, and all you regulars, thank you so much. If you want to subscribe, it's down there, or there, whatever. If you don't, then that's cool. But yeah, thanks again, peace and love, have a good week, look after each other, see you soon.